Welcome to Now, I'm your host, Curtis Parody, and surprise, surprise, today is an Apple day. Before we start, I want to remind you that many of the shirts that I wear on this channel are available for purchase just like this one. Just head over to the CurtisParityStore.ca. Today we start off the show by talking about the biggest news in the tech industry today, Apple. If you haven't already heard, Apple hosted a special event today in San Francisco. At this event, Apple announced a few awesome pieces of tech, so let's talk about those. First up is the new MacBook Pro. Earlier this year, Apple announced the 15-inch Retina MacBook Pro, and today they announced the new little brother, the 13-inch model. It contains many of the great features from the 15-inch model. It's super thin and light and has awesome battery life, and it's a flash-only computer, meaning it's super, super fast. This new 13-inch model will be available in the coming weeks for around $1,600. Next up, Apple talked about the Mac Mini. It got a simple update, a few new processor options and storage, and it's got USB 3.0 ports now. Nothing really that exciting. But then they announced the next generation iMac and WOW! I was just blown away. Look at this thing, it's stunning, it's super thin, and I know I'm not the only one wondering where is the actual computer inside of this thing? It's super, super, super thin, and a part of the reason for this is Apple has dropped the optical drive from the iMac, allowing for them to conserve more space inside. Also, to go along with the new iMac, Apple announced the new Fusion Drive. This drive combines the awesome speed of flash storage with the awesome storage potential of a hard drive to create one super amazing storage machine. The Fusion Drive, in conjunction with with OS X Mountain Lion analyzes what programs you use the most and moves them onto the flash side of the drive, meaning you can access them at super fast speeds. It also moves apps that you don't really use that often onto the hard drive side, where you can still access them but not as fast. Meaning you no longer have to worry about choosing between flash storage or hard drive, just get a fusion and you get the best of both worlds. Moving on, the iPad was next up and whoa my god, this one really surprised me. Tim Cook went on to talk about how they've sold over 100 million iPads and that the iPad is like super awesome in classrooms and with the new iBooks author app just makes it easier for teachers to you know get their content onto the iPad for kids. But then he just went and dropped a bombshell onto the entire presentation announcing the next generation iPad. Yep, that's right. Apple today has announced the fourth generation iPad. And I was all like, whoa, stop. I'm like super confused here. Why would Apple release the fourth generation now? You just released like the third generation in April. Whatever, you know, I guess Apple will do whatever they want to when it all comes down to it. So, the fourth generation iPad has the new lightning connector, same as the iPhone 5, and it has the same storage options with faster Wi-Fi and LTE. The front-facing HD camera is now included, and it has an A6X processor. Now, all of this bunched together, it looks just like the same old third generation iPad, so I'm not really too impressed. So, uh, you can kind of count me out of this upgrade. I'm just going to stick with my third generation iPad. Thank you very much. But after that surprising announcement, Apple pulled out its big guns and announced the next product everyone already knew was coming. Coming, the iPad mini. The iPad mini brings the best features of the iPad to a 7.9 inch display. This is going to be great for people who have always wanted a slightly smaller version of the iPad and also for those people who couldn't afford the regular iPad at a $499 price point, you can now buy the iPad mini at $329. This new iPad comes in the same storage capacities, 16, 32, and 64. It also has, of course, the Wi-Fi only option, or you can get the LTE and 3G option as well. And like the iPhone 5, the back of the iPad mini corresponds to the front cover glass, meaning the white front will get you a silver back. A black front will get you a charcoal back. Now, maybe that's not important to you, but hey, I thought it was a nice touch. The new iPad mini will go on sale in the coming weeks and you can pre-order it right now for yourself this Friday if you wish. With all these awesome announcements I can tell you already this is going to be a killer season for Apple. Almost every product in their line got a refresh in the past couple of months so look out because your Christmas shopping list could include one of these devices. So with all those cool announcements are you thinking about buying any of the new Apple products? Yes, no, and why? Tell me in the comment section below or you can let me know on Facebook, Twitter or Google Plus. Links to all that and more in the description below. And when you're done commenting, why not click the subscribe button in that corner? Then all of the newest episodes of Now will get sent straight to you. Then you can click the like button because you like this video, you like the content in it, or you like me. One of the three. I'm Curtis Parody, and that's what's happening now.